Welcome everyone. We're actually going to do our um, standard uh, new process here. We're going to just look at the finished painting before we start. So um, let's take a look here. This is going to be the um, simple, fresh uh, watercolor uh, flowers in, in a vase on a simple table, a nice white table here, tablecloth, white tablecloth or a white table, uh, bright sunlight, and uh, very simple for a simple occasional card. And you can notice here that we taped off, just so we, we're gonna go over this again uh, as we get into the video, but just so you know, we have the really good uh, painter's tape. You can get at any local big box store uh, that comes in different colors if you like, blue, um, yellow, green, purple. But this is really high quality painters tape that professional uh, painters use when they're painting homes, interiors, and they don't want to disturb surfaces uh, that are already painted or wallpapered, so on and so forth. So if you use these tapes on your watercolor paper, you're guaranteed that they're going to, 90%, 95 percent of the time, it's not going to disturb any of your watercolor paper so that when you peel it up, it's not going to pull any of your watercolor paper uh, up with the tape. So this is excellent quality tape you can get at just your regular standard uh, big box uh, hardware stores. Um, and again, this is the finished painting. We'll zoom in a little. We left, we used wide tape here at the bottom so we can put a nice message here. Congratulations, happy birthday, whatever message you want to have here. Nice wide piece of tape here and then thinner tape around the three sides. And if we zoom in, you can see the painting, and we'll leave it there for just a minute or two so you can look at that. And that's a simple, loose painting, splashing, a little bit abstracty, not too uh, harsh realism here. Okay, that's plenty of time. You can do a screen capture, um, save that uh, to your laptop or your iPhone or your phone, etc. So you have that. And we'll get right into the video. All right, Chris Petri here. Thanks for coming by. Everybody, welcome, welcome. Come on in, we're gonna do some painting. We're gonna do a, an interesting video today. We're gonna to actually do a card. We're gonna do a, like an occasional card, you know. So um, what a better way than to share your artwork than like occasional cards, whether it's a birthday card, get well card, a uh, happy anniversary card, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, Easter, um, happy Hanukkah, all the different religions out there. Everyone's got different religions, obviously. Um, so, um, so you can take any opportunity to create a card with your watercolors and share it with others. And it, it's a, a really, it, it makes people happy when you share your artwork with them, when you send them a little card or you make them a card. Uh, maybe it, it's also a way where you, it promotes your artwork if you want to um, get your artwork out there more and share it with people. Um, you know, people will recognize it and give you a compliment and say, hey, oh, I know somebody that has a gallery. Maybe you want to, do you create paintings? Do you want to, so it can open up doors for you. Again, the principle is, you know, uh, when you give, you receive. So giving cards is a great way when you create your, you know, create some artwork and you give some artwork away. Sometimes it works for your benefit and all, and all of a sudden, you know, you have an opportunity, you know, that uh, uh, presents itself because you've uh, given your cards and, you know, you've made some interesting looking uh, artwork with your uh, occasional card and you never know. It's just all, if anything, it's just a fun thing you can enjoy and it brightens up somebody's life. So here I just have a simple piece of watercolor paper and it's about uh, 8 by 12 and I just fold it in half. So that's all you have to do is really take a piece of watercolor paper and you fold it in half and you just crease it. And then what you do is you just really, you can paint it, you can paint your painting onto the card in this format, which is a portrait, 
or a landscape format. So it depends on what you're painting. So like if you're doing like maybe a, a scene of a city or a house, you know, maybe this would be like the perfect uh, format, like a landscape format like this. And then, you know, the card sits perfectly like that when you stand it up. And then here, you know, maybe if you're going to do um, maybe uh, an interesting uh, portrait or some uh, possibly maybe um, some still life painting or even some landscape painting with some tall trees or something like that some strong vertical elements in your painting, you know, then this works perfect too, a vertical portrait style. And then, you know, of course it stands perfect when you set it on a table like that. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to create um, a painting. Um, on this folded piece of watercolor paper, and this becomes a card, it becomes an occasional card you can share with somebody in your family or friends or business acquaintances, whoever. So we'll set it down on the table. And I just, I use good artist tape. And I just tape across the top. Like that. And what I normally do, and what I think is the best, is if you keep the border the same around three sides, and then you leave the bottom border larger, you can put a message on the bottom, so you leave the the bottom larger, the, t the taped off area, I should say. So here, I just do the same thing. Then I'll use a wider tape the bottom and that gives us a, it gives us a great area to do like you know a little message on the bottom with like pen or felt pen or you know even pencil or pen you know a ballpoint pen felt tip pen ink and you can use uh, ink too as well ink and wash so this is the real basic simple way to do it now here I'm just going to do a real, and I'm going to show you how simple this is, how easy you can do this really very simple, you know, and very quickly, maybe within 10, 15 minutes, you can have yourself a beautiful looking card. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'm going to do this just by uh, my, my own creative uh, juices I have in my mind. I'm thinking, well, oh, what could I do? I could do a nice uh, flower arrangement. So maybe a nice vase with some flowers, real simple. And that's what I'm going to do in my, um, my card here. So um, again, this is not a, you know, a five hour long painting at all. We're doing a card. We're doing a, a nice, beautiful gift card, an occasional card. So what I'll do is I'll just, you know, usually do my typical, just to get an idea, I'm going to use table. Table. Okay, vase is going to be in the center. It may be uh, top of flowers. Top of flowers. Just so I know about where I want things to sit within the uh, rectangle here. Okay, so let's do our. Uh, I'll just do a super light. So we'll pretend this is the table in the back here. I'm gonna have a table, maybe a white tablecloth. I'll, so I'll pretend this is a white tablecloth. And I'm gonna pretend this is a vase. And I'll start this down here. And maybe we'll make like a milk, a milk jar type vase. And so I'm just gonna create this. And then I'm going to do a, a couple leaf forms. And I just make some
some squiggly, you know, some just squiggly lines here. Just like that, so that I have a pattern that I'm going to use to create this painting. Again, this is not a real sophisticated painting. It's not a real, um, you know, um, detailed painting. It's going to be a more abstract feel to it. But then again, with our watercolors, if we're doing a painting like this where we're making a card, we don't want to labor and spend, you know, three, four hours creating a card. We'd like to do this in maybe, you know, 15, 20 minutes. So already we've spent, you know, almost 10 minutes uh, folding our paper, uh, you know, setting up our, our paints and our workstation here a little bit, you know, to get set up to do our work, you know, on our table or whatever we're working on. So we've already spent 15, 20 minutes setting everything up, taping it, folding the paper, taping it off with our artist tape. So it's got to be good artist tape, though, because when you peel this up, if you peel up and destroy the watercolor paper, that's going to ruin the whole effect. So you definitely want really good uh, artist tape. I use Pro Drafting Tape. You can use 3M uh, Frog Tape. You can buy in uh, big box stores like the hardware stores, the big big companies, you know, those big, huge box stores, the hardware companies. You know, you can buy uh, the frog tape. There's some frog tape that's out there. You c it comes in different colors, green, yellow, purple. So I have all the different frog tapes here, local, you know, handy right next to my art table here, you can see. This is uh, painter's tape, high quality painter's tape, and that's what you want to use. This won't rip and tear your watercolor paper to shreds when you go to lift it up. So that, that's a key thing. Because I used to do that when I first started watercolors. I was using cheap uh, tape on my paper. And then when I would go to lift it up, it would tear half my painting apart. And I would be like, what's happening here? So this is a good thing to remember to use good good uh, painter's tape. Like this, the yellow stuff. There's green. So when you see these color tapes in the hardware store, painter's tapes, you'll know these are the, the good ones. Okay, now we did our um, vase and our flowers. Let's do our shadowing, a little bit of shadowing here on the vase. And then a little bit of shadowing. We just put a little, couple pencil marks just to let ourselves know we want to add a little shadowing for the flowers on the tablecloth. And we're going to make our light insignia up here. So we know where the light's coming from. It's coming from up here and going this way. So the shadow will be over here on this side. And we have our tablecloth back here, and that's about it. We just want to keep it real simple. A vase, some flowers, a tablecloth, a little bit of shadowing, and we're set. Okay. Part one complete. Part two is next. We're going to get into the painting part of it. That should take another 10, 15 minutes, and we'll be good to go. And you have yourself a beautiful card, and then we'll even maybe do a little bit of... Uh, writing on our car too, just to kind of bounce it out and show you how it's going to look when it's uh, all completed. Okay, we'll see you in just a second. All right, we've taken our break. Welcome back, everybody. Hey, thanks for coming by again. And uh, we just took a break before we start our painting. And uh, I just wanted to mention, too, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing to our channel here. We do great videos once a week, every week, different subject matter in watercolors. So everything watercolors. But we'll do every type of imaginable uh, subject matter you can uh, really uh, entertain. Uh, landscapes, seascapes, cityscapes. We do um, flowers, uh, still life paintings. We do pretty much everything you can really um, uh, uh, think of here on this channel. And we show you from A to Z, soup to nuts, the whole enchilada, how to start the painting, get it started from... Uh, laying out the painting, pencil drawing the painting, what colors to use, techniques to use to get the painting going and started, and and then all the way through to the end to complete the painting 100%. So you're going to get uh, the whole uh, process of how to paint, draw and paint your watercolor painting here on this channel. So hey, please subscribe, enjoy, you know, it's just a, a, we have a great time here. So many fun people come by and 
Uh, leave a comment, too, if you like. We have plenty of comments in the comments section. People are always commenting. Great ideas and uh, questions and uh, tidbits of information that they put in to the mix, too, that we learn. So there's always a lot of smart people, a lot of great watercolorists, color artists are on this channel and do um, share their ideas in the, in the comments section so you can learn from the comments too as well. I learn as well from the comments and let's get going here. All right, so right away I see I'd like to make the vase a little bit uh, wider at the bottom. So we'll just zip off these two sides a little bit. All right, that looks a little better. And again, we're doing a really carefree, fun, loose painting. Good way to practice creating uh, loose paintings is get the colors out on the palette. Sap green, purple. Sap green, purple, yellow ochre, and we'll do a little bit of red here. So we could use a mixture of these colors right up, right out to start here. Some darks, let's mix some darks up here. Burnt Umber, French Ultramarine Blue, Sap Green we'll add in there, a little bit of purple. All right, Flowers, so I'm going to do some flower shapes. And again, this is fun painting here. We're not then you can go straight in French ultramarine, um, burnt umber, burnt sienna. French ultramarine blue. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that this vase is pretty much clear. And again, you can probably see I'm just going for the gusto here. I'm getting my colors out on the palette. And purple mixed with some of the green for the shadowing. Purple for the shadows. If a, sh if a shadow doesn't come out right, no problem. Now, more purple. We're going to make the flowers purple. And 
again here less is more I'm just making sure that my brush strokes are going upwards like the you know like the flowers grow upwards toward the light so that's how I want my petals of the flowers to sort of look and this is an abstract somewhat of an abstract painting right we're not this is not where I'm taking a lot we want to keep this fun loose free so that um, darker down here underneath. And I think that's good. A couple of splashes and, spe and spots of color and we're okay. I will do this along the back of the wall. And as you can see, I'm really having fun with this, not stressing at all, getting the color on. And then you can always blot up a little bit of paint. make a little darker color there that looks good a little darker tonal values you can splash in some uh, cadmium lemon yellow a little bit And that's about it. I really think that that's this is good. Um, I might do just a touch of um, burnt umber, French ultramarine blue, sap green, a little bit, just a, a little bit of um, some branches and uh, twigs. adds another layer of uh, an interest to it. Then we can go in with the shadow color. That's it. Um, for if, if we're doing an occasional card like you, you're, we're doing here, um, the the key is like doing it quickly, um, a little more apps. You know, uh, could we do this more realistic? Yeah, definitely. We could get a picture or a photograph or and do it that way, but. I guess what I'm thinking here is if we're going to make a card, we want it to be uh, fun, free. And uh, not too overworked. And we want to also get it done, you know, in a reasonable amount of time. Okay.
I hope you enjoyed this. This is a lot of fun. And then we'll just uh, we'll peel off the tape here. And we always remember that good watercolor um, habits are, especially with um, doing like cards like this, you have to use really good tape. Um, you can get it at the hardware store, the really good uh, painter's tape. It comes in all different colors like this, but this is used for like, uh, professional painters use this to do like trim around doors, windows, uh, moldings, things like that. And this paint is, uh, tape is really excellent for um, uh, not harming surfaces at all. So if you put this on your watercolor painting, on your watercolor paper, It'll lift up no problem. You won't have any problems with your paper tearing at all. So, you know, this is the best tape you can get is the stuff at the, the big box stores. And again, we're just looking at the finished uh, painting like this. And then we, we can add our comment below. You know, we can just take a nice pencil and maybe you can, we can work our our message here first. Um, um, we might make this a um, congratulations. So you might do it in real light pencil. First, like that. Barely touching the paper with the pencil just so you you get the feel of where the where the message is going to be. If it's going to run off the paper, you got to erase it a little bit and make the letters smaller. But pretty much that's the way we would do it. We would just take super light pencil and you would like um, write out the name of the person or the message. And again, you try to lay it out so it fits in the bottom of the card. If it's too long, you erase it a little bit and make the, the letters smaller until you have it where it fits good. And then you can use like a Sharpie or a, or a pen like this, you know, pens or Sharpies. Um, there's different color Sharpies you can use. So there's all kinds of different things you can use, uh, like ink. You can use ink if you like ink and wash. You can use some ink pen and use some uh, ink pen to do your message on the bottom of your card. You can come up with all different ideas and uh, make it beautiful and looking good. But that's it. That's the card here. Fresh, simple, fun to do. Doesn't take a lot of time. All right, everyone. We'll see you on the next video. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We make great videos every week. So you come by every week. And uh, we'll be here and we'll be painting. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.